Let's see what it looks like as well. Ah, uh, yeah. It says we're live still. We're live. All right. Yeah, I can see live. There you go. Nice and red. Hello, everyone. Hello, family. Um, we're going to start stream now on, um, there we go, live chat, on uh, Ko Yoon Spen. So I'd just like to introduce the family. Uh, we've got Christian in the building. We've got Shakara. We've got Scatter Minds. We've got myself, Raven. And obviously, you've got content as well. Who's on board. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just, just do a brief intro of what Cole Uni uh, spend is. So you might have heard us talking about Speaker's Corner, and uh, we're just going to go into a bit more depth. So basically, what is Cole Uni spend? Cole Uni spend is a structural, concentrated demographic trading event where a list of dedicated community businesses, in this case, owned businesses, are collected, are collected and constructively shopped at by members of the same community at planned, promoted, and organized set times. So each attendee and customer is strongly encouraged to buy at least one product from the establishment they are attending. All right. Now, what is Co Unity Spend trying to achieve? The main purpose of Co Unity Spend is the promotion and training of group economics, community business support, and community business awareness within a dedicated people group, and in this case, the Black community. Uh, that understands the value in forming solidarity in the economic market. And finally, what happens on the day of co unity spend? So a uh, time a time is set for shoppers to reach outside or inside the establishment. The shop owner will be interviewed about the story of their business and give advice to the people who want to start their own business. There will be posters, signs of co unity spend that the shoppers can hold up and take pictures with their tag. Maybe like have a hashtag co unity spend as well to share on their social media pages. They will also be filmed and live streamed. Uh, content or everything, we'll be doing this. And after a set time, the shop owner will give a thank you statement to the shoppers and cameras. Those who cannot make the set time are welcome to also come before and after the event to show their support on an individual level. Right. So that's just that is just a basic outline of a concept that can grow or shrink. And basically, we're looking for people in the black community to that you support this idea. And what we're going to do, we're going to literally work with the family group to actually build this concept and have it executed correctly. And that's why we're starting here. But before we go on, if everyone wants to introduce themselves, just to say they're here and give their own little like 10 pence piece, whatever. Well, I mute myself. You want to go? I go. I'll go. Um, my, my name is Leon. I'm content over everything. You might know me by. Yeah, I'm on this call. You need spending. I'm involved. That's my 10 pence piece, too. <laughs> Simple things. Shakara, take over. Yeah, blessing. Shakara. Um, yeah, man's there, isn't it? And I think it's an important initiative. Um, and the whole aim is to to be able to create certain behavior patterns, you know what I'm saying? Um, and cement certain behavior patterns in our community in terms of our um, service providers um, and our community itself um, in terms of, you know, consumer bases um, as well as um, black consumer responsibility as well as black business um, customer service and these kinds of things, you know what I'm saying? Um, and so it's it's a it's a step, you know, that can have many implications if we build upon it from this point. So we give thanks for for, for being a part of the initiative. You know what I mean? Yeah, everyone. Um, this is Kushti, and I'm happy to be about this. This community spending and highlighting the great businesses that we already have out there. And supporting them to bring them to a bigger level so we all get to the bigger picture. So, yeah, big up. Yeah, respect, respect, respect to everybody on the panel. Scared minds, of course. And, um, yeah, yeah, um, I um, I'm a definitely, but well, I've just been recently talking on my show about power and the, all those things. And I think Co Unity Spend is a great example of um, black power. Uh, and um, black economic power in that regard so definitely all behind this uh, and behind the motivations and the principles for it it's very important that we um learn economically um, group economics and we actually put it into practice and rather just talk about it and i think this is a great example of group economics in, pla in practice um yeah you know um we'll see where we take it in terms of conversations so on and so forth but open the challenges and stuff like that and to think of how we can sharpen 
sharpen the idea or think of different um, ideas around it. So yeah, respect. Boom. That's everyone, yeah? Right. So I'm going to speak, and obviously you can just jump in at any time when I, you know, to correct me or to straighten me. But basically, first things first, COE, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm logging into the um, your live thing, and it says COE's chat. I don't know if you can actually change the title to Cody. Yeah, change it, change it. Oh, good, man. Let me, press F5. Let, me, let me press F5 and refresh that. Let's see if it went magic. It hasn't done, but I'm sure it will in some time. So I'm, I'm good. Anyway. <laughs> So, what I want us to do as well is now we're definitely about engaging the community. So we want to be uh, paying attention to the, the the people in the. Um, so far, we've got twenty five guys, and if you could press like those twenty five guys, that'd be much appreciated. Yeah, if you want to support um, Black Economics, let's just give us a, a thumbs up, please. So, so we know you're in the house. Um, so that's that. But basically, we want to now we're going to literally grow the community and try to shape this concept, right? Mm -hmm. So, let's just to make it more clear. What we what we actually want is in the so right now we're, we're focused on the London area, but but obviously we're going to be going all over the shop. But right now in the London area, do we know any black businesses that want to try to get a whole of the people to come down one day and shop and literally just try to shop at our business, or shop into business? Yeah. If you have any, uh, we've got a list ourselves. But if you guys have got a list, uh, try to contact us. So an uh, email you can send it is. Our corner 2018 at gmail.com. Or if you know any demand them on the panel or anyone, you can just contact us directly or just come to Speaker's Corner and have a word. But we want to uh, put get a database together where we put all, all the prominent businesses there is and the upcoming business. And basically, we, we have to find a way of how, of how we're going to do the order. Which one do we shop first? You know, are we going to do it every month, every week, every year? I mean, this is this comes down to the community feedback and, and, and the, the, the excitement and all, all the rest of it. So, right now, what you guys do is what we do. So you're part of the team. On the board at the moment, we have five people on the board that they're, they're, they're currently here. We have uh, four men and, and, and one woman. We would like to get more women on the board. But uh, right now, um, this is what it is. Now, hopefully, we want to have a, a very structured way of doing things. Yeah, we have a very structured way of doing things. And we don't necessarily want to um, argue, uh, be argumentative. We want to be very structured. We want to be very inclusive. And we, we, we have to represent that we're going to be representing the um, businesses to, to, to some extent. So we definitely want to come on, on a good, positive, uh, great energy vibe. So one way how we have picked this board is by people who can actually reason and actually be very constructive with their words. And that's one of the starting points. All right. Now. We start by saying we're going to look for businesses. So hopefully if you guys can go any business, you contact us. But also past that, I've got some ideas that I'm going to push forward. And if you think these ideas are, are good or not good, let me know so I can re refine them. But one idea I'm thinking is we're actually going to promote, say, a particular shop. So let's say we've got a shop called, um, I don't know, African uh, uh, um, pomegranates or whatever, right? Now, <laughs> yeah, which is probably the best kind of pomegranates out there. So, <laughs> so now, now we're going to promote this shop, right? One way to promote it is obviously on COE and, 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 and personally, right? But one way I think we can maybe guarantee like a, a certain like um, tur turnout is if, or a turn up, is if the board member, which is five of us at the moment, we have like, um, we have maybe, uh, I don't know what to call it. I, 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 currently I'm calling it a people manager. Uh, the Swahili name for manager, I believe, is Miniji, Miniji. Right, I believe, which just sounds like a different way of saying it. But there you go. Oh, I've, 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 I've actually searched that. So M E N E J R J A is apparently manager in Swahili. So maybe we can use that, right? So the idea of the people manager, uh, uh, manager, is basically um, you have. So I might say have five five people managers, right? And those five will have maybe five people. Does that make sense? So. So that way we know that if five has five, that's 25 people who can come down to, at least from my end, all right? So maybe a concept like that where we actually have particular people go, okay, I will bring five people. So we'll make a special WhatsApp group for the, for the manager people. And that way they're constantly talking to the people at home about the day that's coming up. So they can at least guarantee from their end that when they turn up, they're going to bring their dedicated five, right? So if, if, if each of us has five each and that five has, has um, five in their group, then you do the maths, right? That's one idea, right? And how I will contribute to that is I'll, I'm happy to like design a little um, maybe WhatsApp or 
like an icon with their face on it. And that way they can put people in their particular group and then they can talk to them until the day comes in. Just to always keep people aware. That's one strategy I'm thinking of how to try to get a certain amount of people dedicated to come on a certain date. What do you guys think? Could that work? Could that not work? Holes in the theory? Wablo, let me know. Let's see what the people are saying. I think they want your. If you can just resend the email, maybe just pop it in the chat for them so they can copy and paste it or keep it. Good idea. All right, I'm now going to put, put put the email in the the group in the in the chat. I'll call that two five eight at gmail. Boom, boom. So you got nice copy and paste. I'll, I'll call. It. Yeah, that's the one. Right. Two thousand eighteen. If you didn't know, was the year we started our corner, where we wanted to dedicate a particular time and energy dedicated to the needs of the black people, because. For so long, it was underrepresented, if at all. So that's why we have our corner in 2018. Here we go. Boom. Yep. Oh, highlighted there. I don't have a special highlight there. So there you have it. Our corner is at Gmail. So I just put down the idea, meaning that I'm essentially looking, all of us are looking for people who we're going to call people managers. That's just the working title at the moment, right? And the idea of those people managers is to actually try to get five people yeah, to come down on a date. So if you reckon you're that kind of motivated person who can you can influence black people to come down and you have five family, friends, or, or loved ones who can be your five, this will be good for us. Say like, give me an email saying, I'm willing to be a people manager or a people manager. Let me, let me Google that. That's actually how you say that. But yeah, so that, that will be a good thing, right? And then uh, the more the merrier. The more the merrier. Let's read some of these posts, shall we? All right, who we got? We got well, Ultra Funky saying big up, big up Ultra Funky. All right, all right, who we have here? We got Ezra, big up Ezra as well. All right, I'm just trying to. Uh, can you repeat the email? Okay, I've put it in there for. Okay, Tony, I've put it in there for you, man. Um, all right, now people, in if there's any questions you've got, feel free. Black Pomegranate are the best. That's true. Thank you, Mike T. Um, any questions? Also, what you might want to do as well is tell your family to tell your family to log in. Okay, we got we got we got five top minds here, yeah, and everyone here is dedicated to helping black people. That is a that 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 should really resonate. You know what? There are people online at the moment, right, and they are dedicated to helping black people in this economic thing, right? Remember, you- the primary is to train black people to go out and actively look for black businesses. All right, now. I have actually got, there's one or two that I've got on the list, um, but we need more. And we're going to literally pick from, maybe maybe we can do the picking process with the family as well. I don't know. You know, this is all work in progress. You know? Yo, Raven. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, fam. I don't know if you can see, because you're on your phone, and I don't know if you can see where man's highlighting um, certain questions that are being asked. We're putting them up there still on the... Oh, good man, the, good man. Yeah, yeah, I can yeah, see it. Yeah. I can actually see it. Yeah, yeah. Now, can you explain how this concept works and how it, exactly it benefits a, a, a specific group? There you go. And that's from Nardiverse. All right. So the, how, how? let me explain the concept again if you've just logged in. Basically, the overall concept is to train black people to, to think about shopping black, right? Because we're trying to encourage black people to have businesses. We're also trying to encourage black people to shop it. So what we're doing is we're getting a list of businesses. Uh, one of them might be African pomegranates, right? And the idea is we promote, promote, promote this business. And on a particular day, we go down in the masses after arranging and, and so forth, and we literally shop. Now, we ask each person there to buy a minimum product. Now, if this was actually the African pomegranate uh, shop, we would buy a pomegranate, right? So that would be good. But there's obviously going to be places that show different stuff. Now, one of the first uh, kind of shops we want to be doing is shops where they have kind of like a, a range of prices. So if, if it was like a, 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 a I don't know, a, a black um, car lot, that might not work because I don't think everyone's going to necessarily buy a car. Yeah, unless it's some <laughs> beautiful car. You know what I mean? I ain't buying no car. So literally right now, for at least for the starting, for the ones and the twos and the threes, yeah, 
at least we want to see we've got a range of prices. So there's something small. Now, naturally, you know, man like me is going to go down there and I'm going to spend a bit of a change in it. Do you know what I mean? Um, and I'm going to bring friends who are going to spend. But there's no pressure for people to like, you know, spend all their money done. Just maybe something small will be fine. But it's more so that we can get pictures and talks and get people there to look like an actual event of shopping, right? You know, people will see you. They'll see lines outside, lines inside. And that's a good look. So hopefully in our verse, uh, that explains the concept and how it works. Now, right now, we're doing this for the black community. This concept could be done for any community. But right now, we are focusing on the black community. And that's what we're doing. Hey, yo, can, can we... Um... So, man, I like criticisms as well. You up for answering yeah, yeah. criticisms? Of course. All right. Cool. Uh, now, yeah, um, can non-black people guy. join? There we go. Can non-black people join? Good question. Now, the training is for black people to actually shop black. However, we're going to announce a date. And on that date, you are more likely to, you're more, you're more welcome, sorry, to turn up and spend all of your money. So if you are a non-black person, you are by by all means you can spend your money in a black establishment. That would be very lovely. But we are we are we are focusing on training, and the, and so far that's we are that is what that is for the black community. Uh, this is a terrible tactic. Okay, so we got scientific method. I I, I should sit back. This person has a scientific method. Uh, this is how pyramid schemes get going. Okay, so a scam. Sorry. Yeah, sign up to uh, names free pass. Uh, okay, so so basically what the gentleman is saying is. He suspects that this might be a pyramid scheme, right? So how how this is different from a pyramid scheme is literally we are saying there is a shop. It's in this area. You might not know about it. Let's go shop there. So, for example, you might want to buy, you know, your shampoo and your coconuts, and you're going to do it anyway. We're saying on this date, do it at this particular shop. So, it, so far, there's nothing that qualifies for a pyramid scheme, but... I'm happy that if everyone thinks that black people are going to try to con black people, but we're trying to do it in a way where that's not the case. We, we do not support uh, mistreating black people. Black betterment is not about mistreating black people. So thank you, Scientific Method. Any other criticisms or, or, or questions? We will not have to take them. Um, Brother Raven, can I add on that point, on that, um, that statement, if that's okay? You most certainly can. Um, I just wanted to say, I think the way that scientific methods got confused is probably when you were highlighting, um, I, I'm assuming where he got the word pyramid from, because we've not mentioned anything of that. So when you were saying how you'd recruit to get recruited people to come to um, the, the destination shop, well, um, the actual big plan of what we're doing is actually highlighting a shop and then promoting it a group of like-minded people will come together and go and support that shop. So what Brother Raven was basically saying is, how can he get a bunch of people to come together on that one time to, to go to that particular shop? And he suggested, and he just said it was an opinion, of having team members who can get all of those people together and um, come together on that one day. So it's not a pyramid whatsoever. There's not a level scheme. There's not get one person, get another person to join on. It's an, each individual who have a like mind, are like minded who say, you know what? If I'm like what brother said, if I'm going to get a cast oil or a coconut oil, I'd rather get it from a black owned shop and go. And that's it. Yo, yo, um, what you say? You would give them no airtime. No, no, no. I, 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 no I was trying to figure out where man got pyramids. Know, pyramids <laughs> so like, and, yeah, and but, 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 <laughs> yeah I, was, I was trying to figure it out. I was trying to like, where did I get that from? But Christy figured it out. And it is, <laughs> I was like, yo, she's good. I was, was going to say, what, 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 what does man think about, um, or even does man even acknowledge if there is like a stigma of um, black people spending money with black people? You know, like from, from a black person's perspective, there might be some weariness of that they're scared that they're getting conned or something. I ain't gonna front car in the morning, man was watching some videos of um Umar Johnson, some brother was critiquing him still about the score and all of them thing there. And there's there's a few times that man's gone to some of them community events and man are asking obviously it's it's, it's different, isn't it? Man's not asking for that still, but man are asking for money. This is I'm I'm saying this to say that in terms of the weariness of Shopping with black, you get me? But a few times I've gone to some of them community meetings and man's asked for donations to 
set up institutions and all of these things there. I might not know them from nowhere, you get me? So, I don't know. People running with partner. I don't know if it's just... Yeah, yeah I think I, I think that's part of this uh, the process and, and the retraining because I think there has been mistrust with uh, finances within the black community. So, I think um, the idea of us going out there and saying to people, shopping black is okay, spending your money in these black shops is going to be okay, the experience is always going to be a bad thing or you, you ain't always going to have to have, feel like you're going to get conned. I think that's that's part of the... It's kind of entwined in the training, but I definitely think and I acknowledge that there is there is a stigma within the community and that sometimes in the community we are too quick sometimes to come and ask people for money. But um, I think with this um, situation, I think it, it, it's, it is... Um, it's, it's about supporting businesses that are already out there, service providers that are already out there, rather than, mm. you know, asking for money for for any uh, for ourselves or anything like that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, there, there's that. I, I think there's two sides to this thing in it. The, the first side is that um, we acknowledge that um, there there may be a stigma. There there are certain stigmas attached to black businesses. One of them is um, the customer service stigma. Um, you know, so and then there is the you know the scam stigma. Um, I I think that at some point, um, the the other side to that is is actually investigating the the validity or the truth of those stigmas. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes a stigma doesn't necessarily always reflect a reality. Um, and, and more to the point, the the extent of a stigma is not necessarily the extent of the reality that it represents you know what i'm saying so sometimes if a if a black business if black businesses have a have a bad reputation for customer service um we could actually explore that and say well maybe 50 percent of the businesses um have bad customer service but the stigmatization would, would, would suggest that it's actually 80 percent you know what i'm saying uh you know or, or whatever it is so we've got to look into that you know what i'm saying because I, i'm not sure that that a lot of the best customer service that I've ever received has been from black businesses. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so uh, we, we have to look in. We have to look into that. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, um, I have done some work with a, a marketing uh, uh, guru, so to speak. And one of the things that he said, "You're getting a bit muffled, you know." Yeah. Sorry, can, can you hear me now? Yeah, good. Yeah, um, I've I've done some work with a marketing guru and uh, uh, um, an African-centered marketing guru. And he's, one of the things that he says is that um, as businesses, we have a unique opportunity to rebuild the trust in our community. And what he means by that is that basically because of the fact that of the role that money plays in our lives, and if there is a stigma, a stigma in our community around money, then by black businesses are uh, providing, you know, productive, positive and um, worthy valuable service presenting value to the community itself um and we, we therefore black businesses have an opportunity to through those interactions to change the perception among the black community in general because of the central role that money and business plays in our current day society and our current day lives and so i see the i see this as an opportunity um to make some inroads in terms of forwarding that agenda in terms of rebuilding the trust in our community even beyond just business and money but you know yeah so hopefully well not hopefully the businesses that we that, that we are that we are looking into um and we'll be selecting will be rep reputable um and providing value um to our community and so our community will be able to trust yeah that these businesses uh, will treat them correctly good point hey, yo um you're even um yeah, I'm going to ask you, the, there's the question there I highlighted about the training part. I think you've answered this before. I think you said um, it sounds like in, indoctrination rather than giving them fair choice or something like that. But I was going to say that, differently. Uh, so before you answer, before you answer, yeah. I was going to say, um, if the people them the, um, on the panel see questions that you want me to highlight, let me know still, car. It's a pressure that I don't really want, you know. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to pick. I don't want to feel like I'm picking. Nah, up. pick what you like. We, like I said, we'll questions, man. Talk the things. Ain't that the matter? <laughs> but let, let, let me say, before we jump off. Yeah, um, me, why they got me? There was a question before that we didn't answer. I think from um, a guy Khalifa something TV. It's Khalifa. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me find. Um, that. It, just, find it changed, didn't it? So I think it was something like, will will these shops put money back into the black community, and if so, how can we have some sort of clarity? It will. So very good point. That's a good question. It's a very good question. It's a super question. It's like 10 points to that question. What I would say is this. We're in the picking process, right? Now, I can't guarantee that all the shops are going to really be um, 
that community led. All I can say is within the picking process, you will get more points if you are. Does that make sense? Right. So I think you know if they, if you if you are more community led uh, based business, then of course um, you probably you're, you're probably first up for the for the for the event. But it is a good point. But at this point, in this early point, I can't really guarantee that that they de- you know they definitely are that connected. But I, I would like to think that they kind of are, to be honest. Yeah. yeah um. The, there's a sister uh, uh, in, in the community by the name of Iola. Yeah. Uh, she's yes. part of um the the Thursday club. Um. They they host events on on what one Thursday a month in um Caribou. Um. In well, it was Caribou. I think they're in um Tottenham nowadays. But yeah, in Brixton. Yeah, yeah, so at at the the new chances, but she has this concept called Black Consumer Responsibility, um, and and it's just about the fact that we we talk a lot about the business's responsibility to us, um, but then we also have a responsibility to our businesses if we understand the state of our community, the condition of our community at the moment. So in 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 that respect, yeah, because if you were to ask, in my humble opinion, most black businesses, well, do you contribute to the black community? They would ask you how, where. What would I put my money into as contributing to our community? Yeah, and so it's it's not it's not the, the point is that it's not just on the the businesses. The community needs to have things within it that those businesses know about that they can communicate uh, so that they can contribute to. So the good thing about doing something like this is that we have an opportunity to create those relationships, to inform um, those businesses, and say and, and develop you know relationships whereby they have things to communicate. To, to contribute to um and the the people that are running those institutions you know what i'm saying whether, whether they be saturday schools or charities or whatever do you know what i'm saying um you know can raise their profile also as a part of these things you know so and maybe a black business may not have fought in that way in terms of contributing putting something back into their community and through interacting with them we can put that in their brain and so ba- basically you know in two years five years time we've got more of a, a situation whereby people are contributing positively towards the our community and the money is you know going around so to speak in that kind of way can i just add a point um also um i never got a chance to answer the last question before um i did want to kind of worry about the scamming of businesses and stuff so i just wanted to like do a quick brief on that it's just um when you go into what we're doing as well you've got to remember that it's not costing you nothing it's not like it you've got to pay to get into a venue or anything like that you're just committing to go to an, <clears throat> sorry you're just committing to go to a shop and i think once you step into these shops and you see the owner who has put their blood sweat and tears in there and they're so passionate about it and the extra customer service that they'll give you because they understand that they actually need you more than the bigger shops do and the way that they will like what um Brother Shakara will say, well, actually, um, <clears throat> they will actually give you extra customer service just to show you how important your custom with them is. I think that would be something that would be really eye-opening for people who do have that ne- negative stigma. All you have to do is just go to a few Black-owned brands to see um, the experience that you're receiving there, and I think that would just help you out. So even just joining with the co-unity spends and actually just going for yourself will just answer so many questions. Um, and on the back of the last question, I'll um, see how it just took it off. I did want to kind of say something about, what was the question again? Because I was reading it. About whether, those, was just, whether those businesses will, will be oh, contributing back into the community. community. Yeah, so what I wanted to say is, um, in regards to spending black within the business, you might not see what that 10 pound has done instantly. But, if we're looking at what we are within the community, we understand that we're in a competitive race and we need to support these brands. And when we're, we're on the topic of business right now, so business is money. So we need to help these selective businesses. And I say selective businesses, I'm not saying all businesses, but like what Raven said, if we've got a targeted businesses that I know that there are loads, more than I can, I can, I can say off my head, that are actually helping the community. If we're even helping those ones as a priority to get to where that we want, we then can now start demanding what we want from them business. Now you're at, you're at a multi-million pound stage. We need this for um, schools. We need after school clubs. We need this. We need you to start supporting back into us. But the only way that we can get that and build our community stronger is to start investing in 
that. Yeah, and I think the way that you can see a short term return in how these businesses are actually helping, <clears throat> are actually helping their, their community. Our businesses, um, sorry, shameless plug, like mine, who not only are uh, I am a black business, but my the black pound runs deep within um, the community. So because I house a brand, for example, Sheer, Sheer Oil, she actually gets her Sheer Butter from a village in Ghana by Ghanaian women. So when you purchase a Sheer Butter from Kushi Cosmetics, you're supporting me, one, Kushi Cosmetics. Then you're supporting Sheer Oil, the brand owner who has that brand. Then that money is going down to Ghana, to the village, to the women in the village who have actually um, produced that raw, natural, 100% idle, good for you butter, mm -hmm. which has costed you, what, two pounds. But that two pounds has done so much. It's made such a difference. So if you kind of just look a bit deeper into it, you'll see that actually you supported, and something you might not think of, something that might just cost you a sandwich has gone so many different ways. Mm -hmm. And I think if we start doing more in investigation into the businesses, like if we're telling you to go to a business or this is the business to select, don't just take our words on it. If it's a business that we select, guarantee that they'll, they'll have some information on there, they'll have a website, look into it. And yeah. if that business is really keeping that money within the pounds, those are the ones that we need to target first. Can, I, can yeah. I add to that, yeah? Can I, can I add yeah. to that? I, I want to challenge, I want to respectfully challenge the audience for a sec, yeah? Um, because um, on, on two fronts, on two fronts, we, uh, in, in the society in which we live here, we spend money in all kinds of different places with, without thinking about it. Um, and 99.999% of the places that we spend our money will not be contributing to our community, yeah? Um, you know what I'm saying? That, that that's 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 the reality of living in London, in England, or you know what I'm saying that, that that's the fact of life, right? That, that's so we don't think about it. You know what I'm saying? When we're, when we're, we're generally not organizing to demand that these people spend money in our community or or contribute to our community, yeah. So it, it, in in a sense of the fact that even if just for the sake here yeah, of the fact that I know by spending my money in this business, this brother or sister is going to be able to feed their family, I'm good. Yeah, like, I don't really need <laughs> personally. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's it's beautiful if the businesses um are are contributing and putting stuff back into our community, right? That's 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 a beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? We're not um we're, we're not denying the, the the value of that, but I'm saying just at, at this particular moment in time, like you know, the the idea that this brother or sister, this family is going to be able to pay their light bill, or you know what I'm saying, make help their business to thrive just that little bit more. It is 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 good for me. Like I, I can I feel good about that just in and of itself. Yeah, that's the first thing. The second thing, um, um, and I'm sorry, just to say I'm putting that on top of everything that I said before. Yeah, in terms of um, you know, get creating relationships that encourages businesses to put something back into the community, right? But the the second thing is that um, that we often talk about. I saw a comment a while ago about. Um, you know, African restaurants, African Caribbean restaurants, and and the customer service, right, and and these kinds of things, and we we say these things a lot, yeah. But as a part of this process and and the whole concept of um, black consumer responsibility, it would be good, yeah, if the brothers and sisters, yeah, who um who come through, yeah, um, actually begin to start changing the narrative around black businesses and black and, and customer service, so. As much as we talk about the bad customer service now, through this process, it is all of our responsibility to talk about the good customer service. I mean, if we go to a restaurant and, and, and they treat us good and the customer service is good, post about that on Instagram and Facebook and Snapchat and say, I went to this restaurant today and the customer service was heavyweight. It was beautiful. It surfaced with a smile. You know what I'm saying? I went to... Um, this you know um this this shop and i got some shea butter from ghana and it's nicely packaged and 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 the the, the um you know the, you know they, they offered me a bag without me having to ask and you know what i'm saying they were very helpful we can do all these things as well just what i'm saying so just i'm just saying that it, as, as a community we have a responsibility because as much as we might say um that um that that there is some bad customer service in, in, in some of our businesses. There is also a lot of good customer service. And it's just as much as um, we will talk about the bad customer service, we're not always as quick to talk about the good customer service. So co-unity spend is not just about us spending the money. It's about us creating certain habits, yeah, 
certain ways of behaving and social relationships between each other um, and how we relate to each other. Good points, guys. Good points. Um, th there were some questions that came up and when. Um, <laughs> I know content will remember them. I, yeah, look, look there, look there. There's one there still. Shopping black is a cool concept, but in this system, are subject to the same HMRC rules and regulations, meaning the money still isn't circulating in the community, or am I looking at it wrong? Ultra funky. I hear where the brother's coming from. Um, I think I think one of the things you have to say is like, what is the easy win? What is a tangible step? We know off the bat, we go out and we do not spend amongst a family group, right? We don't do it. So at the very least, we're doing that. So at the very least, like like Brother Shakara just said, you know, we're giving some uh, brother or sister food for the day, whatever it might be, right? So that should be the very introductory, like introduction level of, of what we're doing, you know. As for HMRC and, and all this kind of stuff, um, yeah, you're right. I mean, they're going to tax you, aren't you? And we're not paying a different tax, but we're in England. You know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know, I know much about, hey, I know much about them. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> the reality is <laughs> that where, where, wherever we spend our money, we're going to be subject to those rules. Um, so, and so it's looking at the situation that we're in at the moment. Are we going to be in a position to not be governed by HMRC? Uh, at any time in 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 the near future the answer is no so what are the stages towards getting there and one of the stages towards getting there is that we begin to develop relationships between um our businesses and our community uh whereby we can at least begin to move towards operating semi independently so this is there's a, there's a saying to count sand you start from where you stand, yeah? So, you know what I'm saying? If, I, if you imagine yourself on a beach, right? And you step on the beach and you want to count the grains of sand on the beach, yeah? Right? You're not going to run to the end of the beach, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, um, and, and, and miss the, the, the grain of sand, yeah? That's right at your foot. Wherever you're going to step is where you're going to start, yeah? Um, and, and starting there, you'll get to the rest of the grains of, of sand on the beach. So we're just starting with the first grain right about now. You know what I'm saying? It's the first grain. And once we get to the once once you've done the first grain, then we do the second grain and the third grain and the fourth grain and them kind of things there. And after a while, there'll be no more grains. Yeah, I'd like to say as well that that is the case for HMRC, but the Jewish community seems to be doing very well with the HMRC system at the moment. And people such as Google and stuff like that, I don't think they know what taxes is. So little things like HMRC shouldn't stop us. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent, man. And like, like everyone said, you're gonna have to HMRC take their cut regardless of where you're gonna shop. Um, at least there's gonna be some sort of profit or turnover for that company, possibly, especially if they have more of the community funding it and spending their money there. So eventually, you know, you get to that place. Um, that that company could get to a place where perhaps they might even employ another black person, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, you know, it, you only get to that place when the companies are successful. Really. So there's no point in um. I don't know, like they saying too much. Of course, it's good to encourage companies that, that we spend our money and to support the community. But if we don't support the um, community, uh, if we don't support the companies, why would those companies have uh, any loyalty or any reason to support the community? And that is a, um, a, a key part of um, group economics as well, I think. Um, and in regards to com the question on the screen, if you guys don't mind me moving on to that one, I just see there because I thought it was a good one. And I saw... Um, Somebody in the comments say something about we need more tech minds as well. And they said, um, supporting businesses locally can be helpful. However, the convenience focus in these convenience focus times, an online strategy would be more advantage, i.e. a union of e-stores, etc. And I think I think that is something that even community uh Spain could even think about in terms of as we go on with um the work we're doing and how we're doing it, you know. Perhaps somebody out there might be a web designer and they might reach out to us and say, you know, they would set up a, create a black sort of e um, web web um, web store app or whatever it is that, that needs to be created to create that sort of a situation or that strategy. But I think I think the brother in the chat was right to say that we need more tech tech minds within the community. Um, but we have them already. That's the thing. It's not even that we just need, need them. Like, I work in an era where I come across a lot of different people who work within in, in, in technology and engineering and those different types of things. And you'll find the black people there. Um, it's a question of how connected are they to the community? You know, once they've gone through university and all of that, have they remained connected? And this is another thing. I mean, um, 
um, we've been talking about Malcolm X a lot recently, and one of the things that um, the Nation of Islam done well during that time was they had very close connections to a lot of the universities where a lot of black people were at. So regardless of what sort of course you're doing, whether you're studying tech, whether you're going to be a doctor, whether you're going to be whatever it was, you um um you you like there was some connection to the conscious community. So yeah, but that's that's on a tangent. Sorry, no, I can't be off off off. Yeah, I I do want to say, and you know, it's funny. Um, whoever that, um, yeah. So we're, we're, the whole point of this is to keep it very simple. Yeah, it's very simple, right? It's not a complex co concept, and it's and and the whole point is that um, from the very simple concept, we're able to have uh, an impact upon behavior patterns. Yeah, and a lot of these things has to do with how the whole program is marketed and how it's shared um, and these kinds of things. So we are we, the, the the claim is not being made that the entire economic uh, context and situation of the black community will be overturned as a result of coal unity spent. Yeah, that's not the claim that's being made. Yeah, what the claim that is being made is that we will be able to do something, yeah, have a program on stream that is able to have uh, make a contribution towards encouraging our community to spend with our community. It's a habit that we're not currently engaged in uh, on, on a mass scale. And so we have to institute programs and methodologies in order to make that make that a reality. And this is just one uh, initiative in that phase. Yeah, I saw another question that said, um, uh, how, it was something about Money Mob. So there, there's actually uh, another brothers and sisters who uh, call the Money Mob who do a similar concept where they try to get as many people to shop. I think a brother was asking, are they involved? They're not involved, but by all means, they're, they're more than welcome. And if you know their contact, they're always welcome to come down. And we can we can collaborate on, on trying to shop and train black people how to shop black. So black business in major developing countries will struggle to root itself in the black community because of superstores. We gave up mum and pop shops for a lump sum. We destroy their own businesses. Well, yes, uh, when it comes to uh, uh, the history of, of black businesses, there has been much woes. But one of the things we're trying to do is make it trendy, yeah, to actually uh, have an effort for betterment. So right, like right now, if a person shakes their buttocks on the camera, you'd probably find everyone doing that in a couple of weeks. So hopefully, if we start documenting shopping black, hopefully everyone will do that in a couple of weeks. But what if there are no black businesses to support because every time they start to get a bit successful, they they sell. Well, here's let me let me answer that because it's funny because it's it's like a it's like a it's like a horrible it's like, it's like a horrible gift at the same point, like because currently there might not be too many black businesses, right? But then there are many black people, and black people have money, right? So that means those small one or two say shops, you know, are gonna get really uh, a high concentrated um, population of spenders. So at least from that end, that's a good thing. I, I do want to encourage positive thinking. Of course. In relation yeah. to this, this idea. I, I think it's, it's, it's good to be critical, especially coming from where we're coming from. Um, you know what I'm saying? But, and, and it's good to ask questions. It's, it's good to see flaws or the holes and, 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 you know, try to plug them, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's nothing wrong with that. At the same time, we that's don't want to be... That's my purpose of, of the team still. No, yeah, that's cool, man. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm not even directing this at you. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, just yeah, saying. Yeah, no, I know what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah right. But, I'm, well, but there, 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 there comes a point where we, where we can be defeatist, that we don't want to be defeatist. Yeah. Um, there, it's a, like I said, it's a pretty simple concept. Um, it's a pretty viable idea. Um, and you know, uh, you know, th there's a lot that we can do and build upon. Um, if this particular program. Um, is a, a success, yeah. And so I'd love for us to, to to bear that in mind and think in terms of making coal unity spend as effective as possible. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, and these things, I think that that would be a beautiful way for us to channel uh, our thinking and our energy yeah. to this conversation. Mm. Uh, with, with, with a positive thinking in 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 mind, um, I come from ultra funky. So there's another thing: don't just think of food stores. I think bigger real estate, transport, removals, health, fitness, web design are all examples of what black businesses can be. 
I find that so funny because I think everybody in this panel is has that's like preach. <clears throat> I think that's preaching to the choir. So I don't think anyone would underestimate the variety and the length of black businesses and the amount of positions that we're taking hold of and taking over, especially recently, especially with the boom of the online market. Um, there's so much businesses now that doesn't necessarily have to be bread and water, but the ones that are bread and water, they hold a bigger fight because they've got bigger overheads. Yeah. So we need to support them because once we support them, I say again, we start to demand what we want. So we've got a lot of people saying what we don't have or what we don't want. We can't get it until we start actively getting it. So once we support them, we have the, the right to ask. We have the right to ask for what we want. Just like the Jewish community, the Jewish community are constantly already doing this. They're already spending. When they have their holidays, they go to their bakeries. They go to their churches. They go to their seamstress. If they need printing, if they go to an event, you can keep thinking higher and higher. If someone gets sick, they've got their ambulance. So this is not something that's far-fetched. This is something that communities are already doing. But I do think we need need to be aware that it's a mindset that understands this as well and I don't think that everybody's going to understand it it's just about triggering the light of those who get that or those who are interested in it or those who want to see something better than the position that they are now rather than complain about it and, and you know there's something else there because I, I I'd agree Kushti um there, there's a there, there are an, a range of businesses that we can support uh in the case if I, I I even heard of the, I, the fact that there there are black owned hotels in, in in London, I don't know where they are, but I have heard of the the thing. So you know, there may be a way to work that in. You know what I'm saying? We have a party in the hotel, you know, I drop off the the, the, the pit in them at your grandparents. Come and have a good night. You know what I'm saying? I ring your wife. Come and have a good night. You know what I mean? Um, but there's also the fact that there's probably even on the food thing, because like I've never like there's a Congo Congolese restaurant in Tottenham, for example. Like a lot of our restaurants that we eat in are like Caribbean food and West African food. Do you know what I'm saying? And so it'd be good to support them. But at the same time, when it even when it even comes to food, yeah, there are some there are some places like um that have a, a smaller community, let's say, um in, in the UK or in London, whereby, you know, like Cameroon, for example, I've seen a Cameroon restaurant before. How many people have eaten Cameroon food? You know what I'm saying? Um, Somali, there's bare Somali restaurants about the place. How many people have eaten Somali food or Ethiopian food? Or you know what I'm saying? So when I saw the people them know say there, there, there's more even in the food, there are there's more range existing in London than we're probably commonly aware of certain times. So it may be an opportunity to expose our community to Somali food or Ethiopian food or Congolese food. You know what I'm saying? So we think we can think on that level as well. Yeah, definitely big up the Ethiopian and the Somali food still. Um, I think it large, it large. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred. You would have to put together a code of some sort regarding customer service, as it seems many are concerned at panel. Like we said, we have to we have to really attack some of these these ideas, but, uh, not just swallow them whole um, around customer service and so on. So yes, I'm, like I think it's a you know, human trait to be fair. But I think sometimes we do it perhaps more, or maybe when we do it, it's more damaging than when others do it. But the reality is, you people remember negative experiences more than they remember the positive ones, and it's it's, it's a ne it's a it's a bad thing all, overall, really and truly. But you're gonna remember me, you know, doing something bad to you more than you're gonna remember me holding the door for you five times or whatever it is. So when when people have these customer service experiences, I think sometimes they need to take their time to think. Rare, like I'm vet's car, I didn't like how it was treated, but. How many times will I treat you well? I might remember that as well. So, you know. I'm like, we're, we're a community that go into shops here and get followed around the shop and still go into that same shop the next day. Isn't it? 100%. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, the real, that's the real talk. Like, you know, we, every, every, every birthday, black people are eating in Chinese restaurants here and they don't always treat us good, by G. Do you know what I'm saying? So, like, let's be real out here. Do you know what I'm saying? Let's, let's be balanced. I, I, and to be fair, like, I'm, I'm even going to say this, yeah, and I'm going to get, I'm going to get cussed for it, but I, I really do believe in being patient with black people. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like, we, um, you know, I, among each other, we should have a high tolerance level, yeah. For, for I agree. 
things. You know what I'm saying? We should be patient with each other where certain and certain things are concerned. You know what I'm saying? Uh, mm -hmm. it, it's, as much as we've got to walk through, um, you know, uh, the system, and when we, know, when we when we experience the little microaggressions, we know we've got to hold it down for the sake of, you know, the bigger picture, the bigger cause, and these kinds of things. I think we can do that every now and then with a the black business. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, and and you know what I mean, cut them some slack or get them the benefit of that. That that can go on sometimes too. Do you know what I'm saying? So let's be let's, let's be positive uh, in terms of how how we're projecting our relationships with each other. I think as well, just give the business a try. And like I said, it takes nothing to just go to that particular shop or business that we're um, helping out and seeing it for yourself. I think that will change the whole narrative of just saying it. I, I would like to find out exactly how many black businesses or what type of black businesses. Um, these people have gone to who have said who are so um, sure, sure that they will get such a bad service. I think as well, another thing to add, which would be fair to add, that as as a black business, was it really our start, starting at the bottom? You've not got the best support. Um, you're probably not going to get much finance, and you're very fully aware of the perception as a black business. So the worst thing you can do is to then be that stereotype of the black business. So I really, really would say go to a black business, start seeing other black business. The only black, we are not solely talking about West Indian and African shops here. We're talking about business. So just give it a chance. I think you'll be surprised. They're competing against big communities, other companies. They're not going to let your custom go for something as stupid as customer service, not in this day and age. Mm. Good point. So, um, from, from Banksy style, uh, why, why don't one of you guys create an app that tells you where black owned businesses are, lo uh, are local to your location? Funny enough, that's something I've been uh, talking about for a couple of probably a year now, to be honest. And what I've been doing is actually trying to get a database of developers, UX, UI, uh, programmers, front end, back end, uh, to actually come up with that concept. Maybe what might need to happen is once we get that team, we then need to maybe do like a, uh, a fundraiser saying like, okay, community, we need this amount of money to, to develop this app that does these needs. And uh, we've got this amount of time to do it. But that's definitely something that we're trying to do. So if you are out there and you are a person who understands development, uh, HTML, uh, JavaScript, uh, UX, UI, uh, any kind of thing that can actually uh, build apps, then please email us at our corner 2018 i definitely um at gmail.com i definitely like to get you guys in a network or some kind of uh circle table to discuss options it's definitely one of the most important things i'm thinking about but yeah banksy style that's something that we have been talking about but yeah there you go um head out in a bit but i just wanted to add to that that um those things already um there, there are some of those apps as well that exist in re more rudimentary forms than what you're talking about to be fair and they're not as good but yeah people in the community have already been doing that so um yeah anyhow business isn't charity if you're relying on your on if you're relying that that you're going to fail yeah yeah i think we we, we know that i think um, we've explained a few times about it's about training the community to um to, to think, but like, like, but like this, as I said, these the businesses we're going to be choosing are, are established businesses that are out here competing against other communities already and, and competing for customers. So I'm, these aren't just communities out here looking for charity, businesses out here looking for charity. We're just trying to improve on something within the community that, yeah, we recognize needs to be improved on. May I ask a question to the, to the, to the, um, to the, uh, the, the, the forum? The <laughs> no, not him. Um, <laughs> yeah. So basically, so is it, is it a good idea for the black community to support black businesses? Put a one if it's a good idea. Put a two if you think it's not really a good idea. So is it a good idea? Number one, put number one if you feel that it's a good idea for the black community to support black businesses. All right. I'm going to put my number one to show that I think that's a good idea. All right. There you go. Oh, uh, yes. We have another one. Excellent. Yeah. Because just to make sure we're on the right track, because we think it's actually a good idea to support black businesses. All right, we think it's a good idea. Let's see if anyone might disagree. All right, now we, we've, got, we've got the IC free vote. vote. That's a good thing. We've got yeah, the IC free vote. vote. Oh, yeah, that's worth twenty. Yeah. Does Co Uni have a dress code at the moment? Uh, no, it's dress as you like. But who knows? As things progress, uh, we might even have a, a dedicated dress code. One good idea. Okay, there you go. 
There you go. Good idea. So we got a little one. So at least we at least we're on the right track. You know, it was starting on the right track. Good. We got. It's thought to be a good idea. Excellent. Fantastic. Um, I, can, I, can, I, can I just address um, now or never? Yeah, it says you guys are smart individuals. I often wonder why you don't, why you all don't joint venture for development and profit. This is a joint venture, um, now or never. So your your wishes are being answered. You know what I'm saying? You know your wishes are command. Um, and so yeah, you know, uh, just want to make that clear. So next question is, I said, how do you plan promoting this? This is a word of mouth at the moment. We're going to do like posters and, and share, but, you know, community sharing and word of mouth and, uh, and obviously our brother, our content, over here, I think we're going to start really small. But hopefully you guys can actually help out as well. So at this moment, we have 55 people watching, yeah? So please, black people, tell other black people that there are black people on YouTube trying to support black people. That's a lot of black people. Let them know. And let them come and tune in so they can have their opinion. Do you know what I mean? Um, once again, um, uh, now or never. So th there is no one business. That, the core Unity Spend is designed to, in a sense, uh, take advantage of a network of businesses. Yeah. Um, and the good thing about, because we often talk about black business and, 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 and not black economy, yeah? Uh, and an economy is when you have a range of businesses and service providers acting in interrelated ways uh, that are mutually beneficial, yeah? And so in a sense, we need to go beyond just having businesses to having networks of businesses, yeah? So um, in a sense, by, by, by promoting all of these biz different businesses, under one umbrella, we create the platform or the foundation through which, yeah, to facilitate a network if we choose to do so. It's all a stage uh, in a process, in you know, for a longer aim. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, uh, you know, we have to we have we have to think in terms of steps here. So next, good, 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 good one. Um, next question there. So are we meant to be promoting our black-owned business here? Well, like I said at the beginning, that you might have missed James, James Bond. Is um, <laughs> if you would like us to visit your business, whatever that may be, uh, give us an email at our corner two 2018 at gmail.com and we're going to add it to a database and hopefully we're going to do like a voting kind of thing or a picking kind of stage. Um, also, um, yeah, so that, that's that if you do have a business or if you like, if you actually uh, know any of the people on the panel, email us or uh, WhatsApp us or just come down to Speaker's Corner and we can talk about it. But right now we've got a few businesses, but we'll like a bit more. And okay, Raven, you need to make a 20 second video explaining, uh, which is easy to share. Good idea. I'll do that. All right. 55 people, press like. There was a good question that I highlighted just before the one before. I think I can't remember the person's name. That it was in relation to, I don't know if you remember content, it was in relation to spending her money, like about convenience. I don't know if you can find that one and highlight that one up again. That was a good one to answer. But it might have been gone. I think she was just basically saying that um, for her, spending money um, is more about convenience and she'd rather have someone play with her heartstrings than play with her money. Like, so it's just basically whatever is cheaper and more convenient. There you go, it's on there. Has anybody addressed this online point yet? No, that's what I'm saying. That 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 that, that question never got answered. All right, so I, I stepped out for a second. Apologies. <laughs> Um, okay. <laughs> th th there's no reason why um, we can't have an online element to this thing. So it, it, it's just about the fact that um, it's, it's just about facilitating people sharing their online experience and what they've purchased and them kind of things there. So that, that's, that's, that's definitely an option. At the same time, um, you know, there, there are, we don't want to get caught in the fact that 
it, we don't want to lose sight of the fact that there are businesses that have shops and stores and or physical, you know, um, interaction spaces. So let's make that clear as well. Very clear. And let's add on to that. Um, because it's a tangible um, exercise of teaching, uh, it's easy at the, at the beginning steps to actually document, you know, boots on the ground, going to a place, uh, talking to people, everyone in one particular area next to the products and stuff. That's that 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 as a symbol is that as, as quite big. So that's why okay. in these beginning stages, we're definitely going for those tangible uh, strategies. Definitely. I wanted to say as well. I think some of the stuff that are coming up are really like dated. They're really old, like the um, service, and not to say it doesn't happen, but like how it's consistent or about pricing and things like that. They're really dated. I think. Um, again, like with these businesses now, especially a lot of them who have, have ways of going around overheads, there's a lot of um, relaxed um, pricing for new businesses now, which enable them to go onto the high street. So their prices, again, they're very aware of their position. They're very aware of their competitors. And then a lot of them are getting them from a better source now. So if it is a difference in pricing, it's a matter of a, a pound, two pounds. So again, it's just about that. And if that individual has decided to get up, to go with a group of like-minded people to support a business, an extra pound or two wouldn't really affect them. When like what Shakara pointed out, I know that it's going to help to support them. They're going to be there the next month when I come and check on their support and their family. I will say the email again, but not only do I say, I'll actually type it in the actual uh, thing. So it's alcorner2018 at gmail.com. I'm going to type it again so you guys have it. Give thanks for sharing that, E Black. Um, e Black says, my brother is black hole and dentist. Uh, and he's got the, the name of the dentist and the address. Yeah, that's the kind of thing that we need. You know what I'm saying? Um, people to, you know, put forward their friend's business. Uh, is, is, is E Black the first person to do that? Uh, I'm not too sure. Let me check. But okay. my observation is the first person to do that. So we could do with more of that, uh, brothers and yeah. sisters. You've know? you got a friend that's got a business that you know you think deserves to be featured in the co unit you spend. Please share that. You, share your friend's business. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know? There's a new question up. It says, does Co-Unity provide help and advice to the black businesses they're about to visit to help them to get good ratings? I would say, yes, they do. And the way that they help them uh, provide help and advice to black business about, to help them get good ratings. I think there's only so much like Co-Unity can do. But I think in regards to um, Raven making sure that it's tangible, i.e. that you know, that you're going to see the updates. It's going to be a thing that you can follow through. You're going to see the journey. You're going to see the um, shops if you won't happen to, happen to go to the shops. That's, again, um, and with the videos that um, Raven said that he's going to do just with short snippet videos explaining it, I think all of and then we all share them. We all do something. If we're not spending, we can share. We can, like, I think all of that will help the algorithm to for that business to get out further and further and further. So I do think that community spend could definitely help to do that. I definitely think as a small business, you would love to know that there's a group of business, uh, a group of people out there that genuinely love what you do, want to come through and, and support you. Um, and on top of that, tweet about you, um, you know what I mean? And all that good stuff, that that would be brilliant as a small business. Um, Zay Beats posted another... Um black business in in the chat um black hole criminal law firm <laughs> ferdy um atram and co so yeah if that's for the ganja man them or you know what i'm saying or what what we give thanks yeah or anybody else that's, that's that's been a victim of a crime i suppose that wants you know the the perpetrator to be charged and you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah It'd be interesting to figure out how we add that to a cold unity spend uh thing you know what i mean but, yeah i don't know how we're gonna spend on that one <laughs> yeah, you know? It just maybe that you know we need we need, that's why I'm next sure anybody that's got you know that's got the you know the, the thing growing in their yard you know want some protection. Yeah. 
One one thing I have to highlight as well is, uh, and it's, this could be singularly the most important point. This really is a co uni in the sense of these questions are fantastic and I, and I really love them. But one thing we want you to think of is this being a community effort. The question should be, what could we do to better these situations? In it, so everyone is welcome to join in for the betterment. And at the very least, you turn up and shop. But you could be part of the the arrangement. You could be part of the organization. It's, it's more so, what could you do with the, if you're limited knowledge and you're limited know-how? That's how I want people to start thinking about it. Think of it as a family, as a team, as a co-uni. Big up to the, all those businesses as well. I noticed none of them were restaurants. <laughs> Indeed. Um, ter Terry makes a good point, though, it, and, and, and it's that we shouldn't assume that because a person has a business in a particular field, that they're not engaged in other fields as well. Mm. And, and I think um, it, this ties into something that Christy was saying earlier. Um, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, Terry makes a good point in terms of the brother that runs Pen Pamsey, uh, who's you know significant in, in the real estate business also. So we just want to you know bear those things in mind. Another one saying my partner has a black owned cleaning business called is that Rest Daily offering elite private home cleaning services. Big up. Large up. Please post the contacts, you know what I'm saying? Website or phone number, yep. or email, and all these yep. things. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, does Co Unity collect information on the team that will be making the visit? A group of Africans will have different expectations from a group of Caribbeans. We're not going to get caught up in that one, I see, free. I see called banana skin right there. We're going to do with a banana skin music. We're going to call with a banana skin around here. You know what I mean? Just yeah. yeah. sidestep uh, quickly. But, but, to, but, to, but to the first part, though, Chu said we're not near Google. Um, yeah, we're not really going to be collecting. No, I mean, we'll, we'll, what what we will do is is definitely get reflections. You know what I'm saying? Um, and and it may be wise um, for those who want to stay in touch with what we're doing. We will definitely be collect, collecting, um, you know, uh, email addresses or uh, social media tags, so that you know people that want to be kept in tune with what community is is doing. We have a way of getting uh, making contact with them. There's a good question here. My husband's a black business owner, but his employees are not all black. Would this be a business that you would be interested at panel? Um, yeah, uh, yeah. If, if you see it's a black owned business, I would be personally. Um, but remember, we're putting names for, um, down, like shops down first. So the amount of points you can get depends on how your establishment operates. So uh, that will have to be weighed against another uh, shop that probably has everyone who's black. I don't know. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. And I, I think, but I think the the, the 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 fundamental entry point is black owned. Yes. Yeah. So, so so yeah. So and um, so yes. we understand that there are black owned businesses that don't employ exclusively black staff. That 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 factors into the thing. But yeah. from its black owned, it can qualify. There you go. He says, I think we're giving our counterparts too much credit. A lot of the consumers don't have a clue. Why not do it in a way where we are doing it for us, but not saying for us directly? Indirectly, i.e. indirectly. So how, so how would you say it indirectly across platforms, social media, how would someone in who's black and who wants to support and is who's pan African in Germany or in South London or how how would they know? How would they know that this is a black business if we don't say it's black? What would we put in replacement of saying a black business? Would be my question. But it's an interesting just, just a picture just a, just a picture of the owner. With, with a title saying owner. No. Nah. What would be currently happening with the seasonings in Jamaica currently now, right? 
their seasonings that uh, every which way basically look like they're black owned. There's yet. there's loads of things that claim that they're Jamaican. I mean, there's something the new brand is actually called True Jamaica. T R U Jamaica. No, like... For real. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's the same as African Pride, isn't it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Back in the day. But but the, the point is that the, doing it that way would defeat the object of what we're trying to do here. The, the, the object is to be bait. Yeah, it's to be this yeah. is a black business. These are black people spending money with this black business. There's no way to do that in 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 an undercover way, and doing it in an undercover way would be against the purpose of what we're trying to do. Uh, well, the purpose uh, isn't necessarily yeah. the purpose isn't necessarily to make as much money as we can, but it's to encourage black people to think about right supporting black businesses. Right, definitely, one hundred and ten percent with a ten percent error margin, man. It's like, um, yeah, <laughs> th 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 this this, this like one of the first things I'm always pushing is you have to be consciously black consciously aware that you're trying to support black african caribbean wherever you're, you're, you're aware of it if you're not consciously aware when you actually make it to wherever you're trying to get you will not come back you will not be connected you'll go to wherever the energy takes you all right so that's why it's very important that we highlight these fundamental first fundamental first there you go black people helping black people on black issues fundamental um, first brother Kola has a uh, um uh a question how does uh one second sorry it gone how does somali businesses work in this a question from khalid so a, a somali business is a black african business bro so they work that's 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 it um I, in fact you, you may have just tuned back in but i i did mention uh there was a question about food earlier um you know what I'm saying, and and these things, and I and make, basically ensuring that all the businesses aren't just food businesses. But, and I did make the point that there are a lot of food businesses in 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 um in London that feature food that we don't oft we're not often exposed to. So it, it, obviously, most of us may be exposed to you know the, the, the West African or the, or the or just say the Nigerian Ghanaian uh, Jamaican restaurant chain. You know what I'm saying? That's that's a regular thing. But there are Somali restaurants, and I mentioned Somali, I mentioned Congolese, I mentioned Ethiopian, that maybe less of us are exposed to. Um, so even in the food thing, there's, 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 there's new territory to be explored. But if you know of Somali businesses, bro, you know what I'm saying? Put them forward. Recommend um, them, trust me. Savannah is... them, and we'll be all up in there. Definitely. Savannah Shepherd's Bush. And like Terry said, Ain't well being Savannah again in Shepherd's Bush. Um, but yeah, just had to shout out them two businesses before I come. But yeah, I think that's why it's also important that we do have people coming forward, like like Kola did, Jed, um, um, Kala did, 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 did. I'm talking about his community in regards to the smaller community. People from the black community who might not necessarily quote unquote feel like you're saying, or might feel like they're part from a smaller section, like 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 um, Shakira was saying, like the Senegalese community here in the UK, or 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 one of those um, countries that might not get talked about much, but are still part of the continent, and so on. We need you guys to come and talk up and tell us about some of the businesses that we might not be know about and be ignorant of. And definitely, we'd be looking to support them. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's just it. But um, bless up to the panel. I gotta go now. I've been giving my orders, but respect, yeah, love, peace, brother. Yeah, yeah. Man's got a duck soon as well, yeah. But I, I do want to say that, like, little things like that. Um, a man's from East London, yeah, and um, a a a, a point in like the mid. 2000s yeah the somali community locked down the internet the, the internet cafes in the east where it was a it was a serious thing at certain certain parts a man used to go there specifically because they were african you know what i'm saying um and support their businesses there so you know we, we we've got precedent yeah um among the community spend team in terms of supporting um somali businesses definitely I feel they're already actively doing it anyway, so they could teach us a thing or two. There's another question here. Will there be a co-unity awards event will prizes, where prizes will be given at the end of the year? I'll just say something quickly before I go on that. I think it goes back to what I was saying before, that if we did do an event, um, that would be great because it would highlight how far we've come in um, and, and the great support that would be out there. Um, but then as soon as we do it, I'm sure there'll be someone who'd be asking if we own the building that we're doing the event in and be questioning everything else as well. 
So again, we need to support these businesses in order that we have our own spaces, so everything that we do in our actively so we can actively see where our money is doing we can actively see that in our generation we're at least building something for our youth within our community and we can say that we're that carrying on the torch and actually actively doing something so if all goes well i'd like to see that happen thank you now um if we are running up soon uh may i just like, like add this before we all go and stuff and say that you know thank you all for coming down but before I do that, I'd like to say that um, what you can do from this point on for the people listening, you can share this video once it concludes to your family and friends to let them know the idea we're trying to do. And if they would like to join in any kind of way they see fit. Um, you yourself could be a spender, someone who comes down on the day and spends money in any steps that they push forward. So these are all the things that could happen. Uh, let's try to do it. Let's actually show that from, from, the, from the grassroots startup organically we can start something and train the family to actually change our condition we have the power to change our condition and it starts with us so please share this video and please contact us on our corner 2018 at gmail.com or just approach us at speakers corner if you know any of us just give us a message it starts here Should I do this last? Should I do another question? Because there's one on here. Only because it started with please. <laughs> it says, please, on what grounds will you declare the community spend campaign a success? Before anyone starts something like this, they have tangible goals. What are yours? Oh. Um, for me, uh, we could have our own. Good, good question. For me, I would say if we turn up with... Let's just say, give it the lowest number possible. Say 25, 30, I'll be happy. And we document that. And all those 25 were happy. They spent their money. And we made an event of it. I'll be six, I'll be happy with that. I'll be happy with that. That's, that's bottom end um, success, I would say. Well, I'd like to say something on that as well, as a black business. Um, and who had a shop as well. So who would... who? at the time when I had my shop would would like to have been someone who'd be um, eligible for this um, the way that we declare it a success is that if co-unity would happen to come to my business with um, people who had never known about my business a they've not only done exposure for me that would cost how much thousands of pounds in regards to marketing just to get myself out there because I can't afford to do an advert on tv or a big um, radio show so everything relies on social media. So they've done that and they've put my marketing out there. On top of that, they would have given me extra sales that I would not have had. Introduced me to like-minded people that would be long, long-term customers. We'd be able to make um, mutual beneficial um, businesses and collaborations. And we do have goals. Um, what This is the first time we've come together um, and we've just wanted to put a sound out to those who are like-minded. I'm aware that not everybody listening are of like mind, but those of like mind, like the ones that we saw, um, who posted their ones, they know what we're about. So that's my little part on that. Yep. I'll just add um, the, the creation of a social media presence around what we're doing. Mm. Yeah. Content, you want to add your final thoughts? Well, I was enjoying my role as the silent question picker, you know. <laughs> okay, yeah. Fair um, fair yeah what would I consider a, cons a, a success? Yeah. Um, a campaign of success? Yeah, well, if everyone that um, attends all of the different shops, just from then on, just, just from going to all of the different shops or as many different shops as we know, just normally, anytime we need anything, we don't have to just wait until it's cold. You need to spend time. Mm. We, we, we just know that we've got a selection of shops where we can, anything we need, we know where we can get, where we can support our own people. You get me? Mm. So, yeah, just, just for people to get into the habit and just return for the, for, uh, what it is, for the people then, who shops that we visit, to give us feedback after we visit, like months down the line or days after, Saying that raw, you know that 
people are still coming like it's cold. You need to spend every day. You get me? Mm. Positive feedback that it's, it's, we've set a trend. You get me? Yeah. And, and, and yeah. I'm going to add to that. Yeah. Let me just add, finally add to that. Cold unity spend is a community concept, right? Uh, any logos, a, 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 any naming, it's owned by the community. If you want me to, if you want to do your own community spend in Bristol, in Birmingham, in New York, wherever, I will send you the JPEGs. I will send you the stuff, and you do it. Yeah, this is a this is a, a organic community based stuff. Everything is owned by the community. Please do it. Yeah, I will send you what you need. Just email, me. so you can do it as well. You don't have to wait for us to do it. You can do it yourself in different cities. You know, it's it's a training exercise more than anything. Right. All right. So I'm good. Uh, we've been there long, so I guess we should probably say goodbyes. Like the fact, like the fan content, obviously for the opportunity. Like the fan Kushti uh, for the wisdom. As Shakara and obviously earlier, um, Brother Tahaka, Scattered Minds was here contributing. Thank you guys all, and you can say your last goodbyes, and then we can probably end it whenever you're ready. Well, yeah, you, you're supposed to wrap up the thing, you know, fam. So yeah, done then. Done. 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 <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you, guys. We'll talk more in the group, and then um, hopefully we'll do the, we'll, the next time you should see us speak is at speakers corner, and then we should do a couple more hangouts. But remember, it's a community thing. So, bye, everyone. Thank you. Just like before you go. Go. We got thirty nine likes. Like before you go. Let's go. Thanks, guys. Bye. 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 Echo. Echo. Bye. Peace. <laughs>